When are you planning to pay me my rent? Look, Lisa, I'll pay you the rent when you fix the repairs. That's it. Well, then I'll see you in court. Going to court would be a great idea. Hopefully a judge could expose you for the fraud that you truly are. You think the judge is gonna side with a thug like you? Court is in session. I told Mrs. Kozlowski that I'm not going to be paying the rent until she fixes all the problems that need to be fixed. Your Honor, this guy is a thug. Just look at him. So who are you gonna believe, him or me? Hello, James. Hi, Lisa. Hi, uh, James. I'm standing in front of your apartment, but I guess you're not home? No, I'm not home right now. I'm actually at work. Actually, I'm on my lunch break right now. How can I help you? Well, we're at the beginning of the month, and I still haven't received your rent payment. When are you planning to pay me my rent? Well, I would love to pay you, but as you know, I've been waiting for some repairs for months now. Repairs? What are you talking about? Come on now, Lisa. You know damn well what I'm talking about. My stove hasn't worked since last summer, and now for the past few weeks there's been a leak in the house, and you haven't done anything about it. All right. I'll, I'll get around to it. When are you going to pay your rent? Get around to it? You've been saying that for months now. Whatever. I'll get around to it, all right? Are you going to pay me my rent or what? I'll pay you the rent when you do the fixing that you need to do, okay? And I'm standing firm on that right now, okay? Standing firm? <laughs> Look, Buster, I'll sue you for every penny you've got, you hear me? Yeah, well, if that's what you wanna do, then go ahead. But I know that I am in my full right in not paying you until you do the fixing that you need to do. I'll see you in court, you jerk. In court? Why would we go to court when you could just simply fix the things that you need to fix and I'll pay you the rent? This is your last morning. Are you going to pay me or not? Look, Lisa, I'll pay you the rent when you fix the repairs. That's it. Well, then I'll see you in court. And you know what? I'm going to tell everybody what a deadbeat renter you are. <laughs> You'll never be able to rent another place in this town. You know what? Now that I think about it, Going to court would be a great idea. Hopefully a judge could expose you for the fraud that you truly are. Oh, you are so naive. You think the judge is gonna side with a thug like you over me? You are pathetic. <laughs> you know what? I gotta go back to work, okay? Goodbye, Mrs. Kozlowski. Oh, oh! oh. Well, you're gonna pay for this, you jerk! Unbelievable. Court is in session. Okay, Mrs. Kozlowski, you are suing your renter, Mr. Robinson, for $3,000 plus interest, which is the equivalent of two months rent, plus you want to break your lease with him. Is this correct? Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. Okay, what does he rent from you? A house, an apartment? He actually rents one of my townhomes. Okay, can you tell me what happened? Okay, uh, James has been my tenant for a year and a half. And at the beginning of last month, he decided that he was not going to pay me rent anymore. 
And then what happened? Well, I called him and demanded that he pay me. And he got very aggressive with me and has not paid me any rent since. Okay, so he owes you for last month's rent and this current month's rent. Is this correct? Yes, Your Honor. He pays $1,500 a month rent. Has he always paid his rent in a timely fashion prior to this? Yes. Why do you think he stopped paying? I have no idea. I, all I know is every time I called him and asked him to pay, he would start yelling and, and hang up on me. Mr. Robinson, can you tell me why you're refusing to pay your rent? Yes, Your Honor. Well, it all started about five months ago when the stove broke. I notified Mrs. Kozlowski. She said that she would fix it, but has yet to do it. Then about two months ago, I discovered that I have a leak in my home. So again, I notified Mrs. Kozlowski. She said she would fix it. She has yet to do it. So I decided that last month, I told Mrs. Kozlowski that I'm not going to be paying the rent until she fixes all the problems that need to be fixed. Is all this true, Mrs. Kozlowski? Of course it's not true, Your Honor. He never told me about any repairs. And, and of course I would have fixed those things if he had told me. This man is trying to take advantage of me. He will lie and cheat and make any excuse not to pay me. But you just said prior to two months ago, he always paid his rent on time, correct? Yes, but barely. He, he would always pay at the last, on the last day, and I'd have to chase him down for it. Those are all lies, Your Honor. Your Honor, may I please approach the bench? Uh, yes, you may. Thank you. Your Honor, this guy is a thug. Just look at him. He, he's been trying to take advantage of me since he started renting from me. So who are you going to believe, him or me? Uh, Mrs. Kozlowski, I understand, but I have to gather all the evidence and hear both sides before I can render a decision. Do you understand? But he's a thug. Don't you understand? You've got to side with me. You can't side with a thug like him over a person like me. Mrs. Kozlowski, if you just allow me to do my job, I assure you everything will be fine. Okay. But just promise me you're going to side with me, okay? All right, now you can walk back to your podium, please. Thank you. All right, so, Mr. Robinson, you told me a minute ago that you felt that Mrs. Kozlowski is lying in court. Can you please explain yourself? Well, actually, Your Honor, before I stopped paying Mrs. Kozlowski, I used to pay my rent on time every month. As a matter of fact, my rent is due on the first of every month, and there were occasions where I paid my rent a day or two before that date. Secondly, ever since I told Ms. Kislowski about my issues that I'm having at my home, she completely ignored me and refused to fix my problems that I'm having at my home. Well, it seems to me we have two versions of the same story, but I will get to the bottom of this today, I assure you. Well, clearly we know who's lying. Mrs. Kozlowski, this is your second warning. Do not interrupt me when I'm speaking. Sorry. Mr. Robinson, can you procure any evidence to corroborate your side of the story? Yes, I can, Your Honor. Let me see them. You may approach the bench. You. Okay, you may return to your podium. Thanks. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, I see here, uh, this is your bank statement, and I see your $1,500 monthly money wire on them. Yes, and you, if you can see on the bank statement right there, it says that those deposits were made either on the first or a day or two before that. According to these, these statements, you are an exemplary tenant. And uh, <clears throat> I see here you also have some pictures. Yes, Your Honor. Those are pictures of the broken stove and also of the leaky roof. These are all lies, Your Honor. All those pictures are fake. Mrs. Kozlowski, this is your second warning. Please do not interrupt us while we're speaking. Sorry, Your Honor. Continue, Mr. Robinson. Beside those photos, you can see that I attached some copies of me and Mrs. Kozlowski's oh. conversations over the past five months. 
uh, yes, I can see that. Uh, here they are. On June 5th, about five months ago, there was a text from you to Mrs. Kozlowski. Hi, Mrs. Kozlowski, my stove stopped working last night. Can you please send someone to fix it? And Mrs. Kozlowski answers, uh, yes, James, I'll send someone over as soon as I can. And then I see another message about three weeks later from you to her also. It says, hi, Mrs. Kozlowski, my stove is not working. Uh, could you send someone over to look at it? This is urgent. And Mrs. Kozlowski answers, she says, I told you I would send someone over when I am able to. And then about a month later, there's another message from you to Mrs. Kozlowski. It says, Mrs. Kozlowski, I am still waiting for you to, to fix my stove. I cannot eat frozen TV dinners. This is urgent. And Mrs. Kozlowski answers, please stop texting me. If you don't stop harassing me about the stove, I won't send anyone. Are we clear? <clears throat> and then it continues, and about two months ago, there's another text about the leaky roof, uh, which apparently has not been fixed either. How do you explain yourself, Mrs. Kozlowski? Well, as I said, Your Honor, these are all lies and fabrications. You, you can Photoshop anything nowadays. So you're telling me that the evidence that Mr. Robinson is, is presenting is, is false, it's fake? Yes, Your Honor, yes. Mrs. Kozlowski, do you understand you're under oath and lying to a judge? You are liable for a fine and possible jail time. Do you understand this? Yes, Your Honor. I can also fact check this very easily. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I will ask you one more time. Is this evidence real or is it photoshopped as you said? All right, all right, whatever. Whatever what, Mrs. Kozlowski? Okay, I admit it. I admit that he's not lying, that all his evidence that he showed you is real. Okay, good. I see the truth is finally prevailing. Mr. Robinson, can you tell me the approximate the price of your sofa? Well, I purchased it when I first moved in and it cost about $1,800 plus tax. <sighs> this is your typical landlord tenant argument, or in this case, more like slumlord tenant argument. What? How dare you? Mrs. Kozlowski, I'm warning you again, do not interrupt me when I'm speaking. Mrs. Kozlowski, you are responsible for all the repairs in the unit. You have failed to do this. You will reimburse Mr. Robinson the $1,800 for the sofa, <gasps> and for his aggravation and discomfort, he will not be responsible for the $3,000 or the two oh, months rent. really? Oh, no. Failure to comply with this, oh. within five business days, you will be remanded to jail in the county facility. This court is adjourned. Have a nice day, everyone. Oh. Oh. oh.